he was in uh, a number of uh, a number of major battles. You know, we always speculated that our entire family history was literally hanging by a thread. If the bullet had been just a little bit, a quarter of an inch to the left or a quarter of an inch to the right, none of us would be here. Well, imagine, uh, if you will, the thousands and thousands of fallen soldiers during the Civil War whose uh, remains had to be collected all over the, the Southeast uh, and interred uh, respectfully and properly in what was at that time probably a swamp. He fell in love with Buford and decided he was going to make a home here. And that's when he got involved in um, agriculture primarily, truck, what we now would call truck farming, uh, except they didn't really have trucks. They had a railroad here. Buford at one time was the largest producer of Irish potatoes in the world. So that was the beginning of his, of his uh, business empire. And today we talk about affordable housing and everybody kind of understands that means build a house that a middle class family can actually afford to buy. Well back then it was a house that they could live in and uh, he built hundreds, literally hundreds and a lot of them are what are now the Northwest Quadrant are still there that he built and, uh, and sold and, and financed for a very, very nominal down payment and a very nominal monthly uh, amount why they could own a house.